several years? All right. Welcome to my latest case, The Secret of Shadow Ranch. Dear Hannah, well, I made it to Shadow Ranch, but I'm afraid all is not well. The Raleigh's, the people who own the ranch, have been called away on some kind of emergency. They had Dave Gregory, he's their foreman, pick me up at the airport. He gave me a phone number, told me to pinchy, call the pinchy. Raleigh's at that number as soon as I got settled in, and refused to tell me anything else. In fact, he barely said two words to me the whole ride to the ranch. What's worse, Bess and George aren't here yet, which is very strange, because even though we had to take different flights, we figured we'd get into Phoenix at about the same time. Being here without them feels odd. After all, the Raleigh's are their aunt and uncle, not mine. I wouldn't even be here if Bess and George hadn't begged them to invite me out to the ranch for two weeks, too. Until about three months ago, the Raleigh's owned a clothing store. Bess said it was always their dream to sell the store and buy a cattle ranch. I hope they're okay, but frankly, as beautiful as Shadow Ranch is, I'm starting to get a bad feeling about this place. Love, Nancy. Can I call them? No one to call. Nobody's like just gonna a... talk to you. Huh? Nobody's gonna talk to you. Hi, Bess. It's me. I'm at the ranch. Where are you guys? Omaha. Omaha? As in Nebraska? Our plane had to land here so they could fix some radio problem, and now they're saying... It's Nancy. Hi, Nancy. Hi, George. Now they're saying we may be here for hours. Hours? You're kidding. Who knows what's really going on? Yeah, no one around here ever gives you a straight answer. So what's going on there? That is a very good question. Oh my gosh, you've got a mystery to solve, don't you? I can hear it in your voice. What's happened? Tell us. All I know so far is the Raleigh sent one of their ranch hands to pick me up at the airport instead of meeting my plane themselves. That is weird. Yeah, that doesn't sound like Uncle Ed and Aunt Bet at all. 
Are they there at the ranch? Nope. The ranch hand who picked me up told me I could reach them at this phone number he gave me. So what'd they say? I haven't called them yet. So call them! Yeah, and as soon as you do, call us. We're so bored. George just bought a book on 19th century clothing and accessories. George did? It's the only thing in the bookstore here that looked halfway interesting. So if you need to know anything that's even remotely related to 19th century fashion, let us know, okay? Sounds good to me. In the meantime, call Uncle Ed and Aunt Bet. I mean, not only have you got our curiosity going, but we're bored, Nancy. Bored! I hear you. I'll talk to you soon, okay? You better. Hello? Hello, Mrs. Raleigh. It's Nancy Drew. Nancy! Are you at the ranch? Yes, and I'm a little concerned that you're not. Sure. Uh. That's awesome. I just should I post it? Yeah, I would. <clears throat> Put a memento for favor. How exactly I do that? We will be right back after these messages from our sponsor. <laughs> Give this a reset real quick. Nikki's playing Fallout 4. I don't know how exactly how to... Hold on, give me a sec. I can take care of it. Next me up a little cat in that huge bed. Share embed. Okay. Here we go. Mine's working. That one's working. Okay, so we're golden. Alright, kill this. Minimize that.
And now to resume our regularly scheduled program. Is everything all right? Oh, everything's fine. I mean, it is now. It wasn't last night, of course. Everything would have been fine last night if you hadn't made such a fuss. How could I not make a fuss? There was a rattlesnake in our bedroom for Pete's sake. Did you say rattlesnake? I told Ed to leave it alone and let one of the hands get it out of there, but no, Ed started poking at it with my yardstick, and all of a sudden it leapt up and bit him. How bad? Well, his arm swelled up something awful, and he was feeling pretty poorly by the time we finally got him here. I was fine. She's exaggerating. Oh, Ed, you wish. <laughs> anyway, dear, he's doing much better today, and the doctors think he'll be well enough to go home in a day or so. I'm well enough to go home right now. No, you're not. If I don't stay here with him, he'll get up and walk right out that door. No, I won't. What can I do to help you? Oh, nothing, dear. Absolutely nothing. You just go get a horse from Tex. He's the head wrangler. And go riding to your heart's content. I told Shorty to go ahead with the cookout I planned for tonight and... The envelope. Have her take that envelope to Mary. Oh, good idea. There's an envelope in the roll-top desk in the den marked Mary. If you could ride over to Mary Yazzie's and give it to her, we'd really appreciate it. I'll do it right away. Did you say I'd have to ride there? Because of the way the roads are set up around here, it takes longer to drive to her place from the ranch than it does to get there on horseback. Dave will tell you how to get there. She's gonna have to get the key to the desk from him, too. <laughs> oh, that's right. I always lock the roll top. Dave has the key. Oh, dear. It seems like there was something else I wanted to tell you. Nope. The horse, bet. I love about the text. phantom horse. Yeah, Did he, he say he phantom text. horse? Uh, yes. You see, last night we... Hello, oh. Mr. Raleigh. Time for those tests. Uh-oh. We have to go. <laughs> Don't worry about us, dear. Not you just go ahead. have fun. <laughs> just be sure to wear a hat and drink plenty of water. It's gonna be another hot one. Bye. No, wait. Just tell me about the... <laughs> phantom horse? <sighs> I have to cut this short, Hal. Someone just climbed out of my wardrobe. If it's delicate you want, it's delicate you'll get. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic messaging service. I'll call back later. They want me to call back. Well, fine. I guess we're not calling. Go talk to Mr. Kasha. <laughs> I beat you. Here's Shorty. Here's Shorty. I'm gonna have to turn around, Dave. We got a good view from here. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, do a little jig for us. <laughs> Shake your booty. Oh, yeah. All right. You talk to the Raleigh's? There, I get to make you laugh. I sure did. Do you think Ed's going to be all right? He'll be okay. Getting bit by a rattler's no picnic, but it sounds like he's out of the woods. But no, honestly, I mean, like with Dave, it looks like he he drew his scruff out with a sharpie. That's the only issue I have. Bet said something about a phantom horse. Do you know what she was talking about? This glowing horse came galloping up out of the dark, making a real ruckus. Everybody woke up and went running outside to look. It reared up a couple times, then spun around and went racing off the way it came. By the time anybody thought about going after it, it had disappeared. It was glowing? It was the strangest thing I've ever seen. Guess you're going to be asking me a lot of questions, huh? I'm sorry. Am I bugging you? The Raleigh said you were a detective. Their niece, Bess Marvin, she told them that, and she exaggerates. I'm going to be honest with you, ma'am. We were short a couple hands to begin with, and now with the Raleigh's gone and everybody on edge over what happened last night, well, this is not a good time to be visiting Shadow Ranch, that's all. How do you think that rattlesnake wound up in the Raleigh's bedroom? Probably crawled in through a mouse boots. hole sometime during the day and took a nap. Night times when they're most active. Something the Raleigh's found out the hard way. Could somebody have put it there? Guess it's possible. Person would have to know how to handle snakes, of course, but then if you work in the desert, that's one of the things that's good to know. The Raleigh's asked me to take something out to Mary Yazzie's, but it's in the den in the roll-top desk, which is locked. They said you had the key? Sure do. They gave me their key ring at the hospital. Great, thanks. <sighs> to get to Mary's shop, Ooh, just follow the trail hand. that goes northeast out of the corral. 
Can't miss it. And I should probably warn you, she doesn't like the Raleigh's. Why not? No idea. Not really any of my business. I talked to my friends, Bess and George. Their plane's been delayed. They aren't sure when they're going to get here. Sorry to hear that. Well, to be honest, I'm not, really. Driving back and forth to the airport takes a lot of time, and time's one thing we're all running kind of short of around here. I'll let you get back to work. Appreciate it. As he stands Huh? As he stands there. Oh, the Angry Chicken's not there. Damn it! I like Mr. Angry Chicken. Yeah. Mrs. Yeah. Angry Chicken. I say it's Mrs. Angry Chicken. I'm gonna go talk to Shorty first. Ah, it's so much to do! <laughs> no, now it's good, bud. Hey, you must be Nancy. I'm the cook, Shorty Thurmond. Welcome to Shadow Ranch. Come on over here and tell me about yourself. You have talked to the Raleigh's, right? How about new? I have, <laughs> and I still can't believe what happened to Ed. That is creepy, isn't it? But the horse, that was you. even creepier. See, I was just about to crawl into bed last night when all of a sudden this glowing no, horse yeah. comes galloping up outside. Yeah. It stops no, and rears and paws, whinnying and snorting. Then it just wheels around and gallops off into the night. It was Dirk Valentine's horse, you know. Now it's a phantom. Oh, no. Oh, that's not set up. Dang it. I thought that was set up. Maybe I'm wrong. Anyways. Dirk Valentine? Dirk Valentine was an outlaw around here back in the 1880s. Legend has it he was in love with Frances Humber. She lived right here on Shadow Ranch. Unfortunately, her daddy was the that sheriff. Was Ouch. Because of him, Valentine was captured and eventually hanged. Ever since, the ghost of his horse has been roaming the desert, cursing whoever sees him with bad luck. You don't really believe that, do you? All I know is, Ed Raleigh sees the horse, and what happens less than two minutes later? He gets bit by a rattlesnake. You do the math. Well, I'd better get going. Pleasure talking to you. We have to talk to him again. Oh, text. Yeah, we gotta talk to text, and then text tells us this. Ah. But we get to go talk to Tex. No, I'm like, ah. Get to talk to Tex. Yeah. <laughs> right. So which one are you? <laughs> The nice one? The well, nice I said they were going to be inviting some young ladies out here. I take it you're one of them. I'm Nancy Drew. My two friends haven't arrived yet. Why not? Their plane was delayed. They'll be here as soon as they can. I brought three horses in this morning. Hardly fair to keep them tied up all day if nobody's going to ride them. So you're in charge of the horses? I'm the head wrangler. You want to ride, ride, you come to me. me. You prove to me you know what you're doing, I may just let you. Did you see the Phantom Horse last night? I saw something. Just what? I still ain't sure. Now if you want to ride, listen up. First thing you're gonna do is never ride unless you're wearing a hat and gloves. And unless you got a full canteen of water, you can wear that hat over there. It's Mrs. Raleigh's. Got a helmet built right in. Her gloves are on the saddle you'll be using, and you can get a canteen from Shorty. Then you're gonna saddle and bridle your horse. No need to brush them. I do that when I bring them in. Then you're going to lead him to the mountain block in the corral and mount up. Then I'm going to ask you some questions. You can't ride outside the corral till you get all the answers right. If I don't know something, can I just ask you? Nope. When you're done riding, you're going to dismount, hook your horse up, take the saddle and bridle off and put him back where you got him. Always keep your gloves with your saddle. Do these horses ground tie? Yep. If you get off when you're on the trail, don't tie your reins to nothing. Just drop them. And barring an earthquake or something, old Bob old will stay Bob. put. Bob. Bob? Oh, Who's Bob. Bob? The bay over there. Name's Bob. That's who I'm putting you on. May I go riding now? Nope. With the rod is gone, the ranch is real short-handed. Before you ride, you're gonna have to go see if Shorty's got any chores that need doing. Gotta get a canteen from him anyway. Talk to you later. Just stay out of trouble. Stay out of trouble. Excuse me while I do my little titty. 
All right, sorry. Well, hello there. <laughs> you got some friends back there? It's Bob. It's Bob Clyde and Ace. Come on, Bob. Come on, Bob. <laughs> Bob. Hey there, Nancy. Man, I wish the Raleigh's were here. Me too. It'll be nice to talk to them in person. I'm really looking forward to you and me sitting down and having a nice conversation. Especially with all the weird stuff that's going on. I'm so busy getting all their chores done in addition to my own that I barely have time to talk to myself. I constantly let alone to you. Nobody cares. Enough of me complaining. Nobody What's cares. Up? Oh. Tech said I should get a canteen from you and see if there are any chores you'd like me to do. Music to my ears. First thing Music you can do for me is go ears. out to the garden and pick all the ripe vegetables. You know what ripe vegetables look like, don't you? No, but don't worry, I'll find out. Good, because if you pick vegetables that aren't ripe yet, I'll be real ticked. You can put them in the vegetable basket that's hanging ticked. outside. And one more thing. Sometime today, I need you to build a cooking fire in the pit outside. I'll light it when I'm ready to start cooking. And be sure to fill the bucket out there with water and leave it by the pit. You know, just in case something catches on fire that isn't supposed to. The Raleigh's wanted to have a cookout tonight, and by golly, we're gonna have a cookout no matter who is or isn't here. Well, I'd better get going. Pleasure talking to you. That Chrissy handwriting. My antiperspirant's going to get a workout today. Vegetables. 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 Harvest some vegetable bubbles. Vegetables. Vegetables. <laughs> I love Ozzy just like little void in the little big in the big bed. Yeah. Uh, sweet peppers start out green, then turn colors of mature. Mature peppers should be clipped off the plant, not pulled off. So these are red, orange, and really red. Snap beans. These are ripe, right? Those are over. These are over Wait, hold on. Beans on the left are underripe. The beans in the middle are ripe. These are ripe. The okay. bean on the right is overripe. Got it. But you can pull the overripe ones too. It doesn't matter. Yeah. He just tosses them. Yeah. Dry beans. Pod on the left is underripe. Pod in the middle is ready for harvesting. Okay, so they're gray. Tomatoes, okay. I love the music in this game. So beef steaks are red. Oh wait, those aren't beef steaks. Are they? So yeah, those are beef steaks red. Northern lights bicolor, so they're two color. Old ivory eggs, golden white one ripe. And the golden queen is orange yellow one ripe. Okay. Alrighty. Beef steaks. Those are good. Golden queens are bicolor. Black turtles, so. Uh, double check before pull anything. Snap beans. Snap beans. Dry beans. These are black turtles, so none of those are ripe. Right? Yeah. Mono. These are underripe. These are ripe and these are overripe. I do this right on the. I don't want to. I hate this we part. should try to make the cake in this game at some point. Yeah, Romano bush and pole, so. Overripe, overripe, 
Underripe, underripe, ripe, ripe. That's underripe as well. Right? No. You can take this and this. Not those two, but these two. Uh, yeah, I think so. That's as good as mine. I don't think those, any of the old ivories are, but Still, the these lights are. The bicolors, right? It's so hot, I should get these vegetables into Shorty right away. Pick those vegetables for me yet? You betcha. Oh no, you got stuff in here that isn't wrapped yet. Picking stuff before it's wrapped is a waste of perfectly good food. So don't do it again, you hear? Now, second thing I need you to do for me is take this, go out to the chicken coop and fill it up with eggs. Just be careful of that basket. It's kind of old. And don't forget to build me that campfire like I asked. Right. Hello, Nancy. Something I can do for you? How long have you worked here? About as long as the Raleigh's have lived here. About three months, I guess. I was their first hire. First me, then Tex, then Shorty. Tex seems a little ornery. He does his job and he does it good. Far as I'm concerned, that's all that's important. I'll let you get back to work. Ma'am? We have to get an egg first in order for it to fall out of the basket, right? Yep. Oh no! There's a hole in it. Voila! Voila! Ah, magnifique! Go out, then back in. Angry chicken! <laughs> what are you doing? Saving. Why? There's such thing as a second chance. I'll come back when she's not in such a foul mood. Ah, no! Ow, ow. I know that chicken, dear. She only becomes aggressive when she's provoked. <laughs> Were you provoking her? I was just kind of playing with her. Playing with or teasing? I guess it was more like teasing. We can't have people taunting the chickens, dear. It makes them less productive and just plain mean. And if you have to be told not to pick on some poor, defenseless... Well, relatively defenseless creature. I'm afraid you're not the type of person that's welcome at Shadow Ranch. Your hen hassling days are over, Nancy. Bye. It's a spaceship, damn it, not a prom limousine. Ooh, if anyone needs me, I'll, I'll be, be in the angry dome. Tempered, but she's one of our best egg producers, dear. Didn't you see what I wrote by her nest? Ah, well, <laughs> okay, yes. I'll stop. 
Then why did you try to get her egg when she was sitting on it? Because I thought I could. I happen to like that chicken. One I know pair you do, of Ed. Later. Birds of a feather. So not only have you traumatized one of our best hens, but it appears <laughs> that you can't be trusted to read and obey simple written instructions. It won't happen again, Aunt Bet. Well, Nancy, you're right about that. <laughs> Get the fuck out! Alright. Now we gotta be serious. <laughs> Where oh. to go? Huh? It'll be here. I just fucked it up so bad. Get our music. <laughs> I borked it! Yay! Alright, so we got the eggs. Uh, should I do the... Fire? We don't have all the eggs yet. Oh, because we gotta wait for the... Chicken There's the music. <laughs> yeah, just you can start... Cl There's... Can't get to them now. There's branches on the side right there. Oh, turn... Around. And write it down. I'll say it's over here. Self-explanatory. Here's Shorty. Hello. Hello. There. Just call me Nancy Paul Here's by Andrew. Here's Shorty. Here's Shorty. I don't think we got all the kidney yet. No. I'm on a motherfucking dinosaur. Come back in the vegetables. Oh, right. Chocolate chip. That's what we get instead of uh, money. <laughs> she gives us baked goods. <laughs> I and uh, believe me, I, I like the cookies. I get very excited every year for my birthday cookies. <laughs> Gotta get the paper from inside too. That shed? No. Or, got it. That all we need? No, it's at the fire. Oh, you're gonna get the letter. May as well. That just sounds like Susan. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge, say no more, say no more. No, you're fine. I say now you sound like Susan. <laughs> Someone has to be naughty. Here in spirit. <laughs> hmm. The Raleigh sold a trunk full of junk to Mary Yazi. I can't get over Ozzy in that big bed. Sounds okay, like this Jane time. Nash person has it out for the Raleigh. Oh, I want to show you. Look at Chris, look at birthday present. It's a willow mug. Yeah, she has a Jake mug. Now I have a willow mug. And, and. Wrong, there you are. What's oh, got a tag on it? 
Oh. Did not notice that. I didn't notice it either. Yep, next year's <laughs> Ozzy. And then, and then, that Jake blanket. I now have Willow blanket. <laughs> hey, Chrissy. Chrissy! Oh, Chrissy, look! Willow blanket! Hopefully you can see what's on there. Yeah. <laughs> and Willow Mug. I had to get the picture of her being a goof. Hopefully you can see that. <laughs> Thank you. Technically <laughs> tomorrow. So many beagles. So many beagles. At least this better horse is my in real life friend Chrissy. my The one I play the Nancy Drew games with. She got me a beagle mouse pad and a beagle journal for my birthday today. <laughs> yeah, Chrissy, Ellie's, Ellie's Chrissy. Well, you got me the, well, yeah. the Beagle statue for Christmas. Was all that technically for Christmas? <laughs> Look, I'm learning! I can't play hooky tomorrow. Oh! <laughs> okay, yeah, technically Christmas, but I got it for my birthday. <laughs> On my birthday, or day before my birthday. That's not the right time. Must be broken. Oh, I did write that one down. <laughs> Charlene for sale. Oh. I tell you never to meet your heroes. Nope. All right. So is that all we needed them? Yes. Uh. Yeah, I, I never call her. Okay, so we gotta set up the fire. Wonder who wrote this. Wait, do I actually <laughs> have... This must be where Shorty wants me to build a campfire. So far so good. No, no, wait, no you do the no you do the, oh, the twigs first, then yeah. the logs. I, don't know if we have I need more candy. Yeah, so didn't know we had all of them. There's some by the house. I need something to put the fire out. Oh. Oh, well, that's where you put the, the water. Derp. There we go. Where am I going to work tomorrow? Oh, there it is. Got it. We got him. I think that's all. I think that should be it. Do it again. So far, so good. I need more kindling. More? Um... Okay, so we got the one there, we got the one by, did you get the one outside the shed? Nope. I thought I did. Oh, no. Nope, there it is. Got it. I think that was the only one I was missing. Something like that. Yeah. <laughs> so far, so we'll good. get all the kindling. That should there do it. We there go. we go. There, one extremely well-built campfire, if I do say it's so myself. Up. Okay, so now I've got the eggs, the fire's done, so now we go talk to him. You can find more eggs than that. You oh, bet yeah, I can. Right. You, more. you can find more eggs than that. The angry chicken oh, nope. was in there. Oh, well. Surprise. You bet I can. 
Nobody cares. Nobody cares. Oh, Chrissy, did I we show you our? <laughs> yeah. And then here's Shorty. That ass? Oh yeah, this ass. This one. And then Chrissy, listen. Miles, the magnificent memory machine. <laughs> Do a little turn. Do a little turn, baby. You're on the catwalk. Okay, ah. angry chicken gone. After I kill- oh wait, that's right. <laughs> if you're gonna be dumb, you gotta be tough. Got those eggs for me? Down, right here. Get back up. Good for you. Anything I can do for you now? Do you think I could get a canteen of water from you? Got one right here. You're good to go. Well, I better get going. Don't be a stranger. Does the canteen full? Yes. Okay. Now we are should be good to go now, right? Now we gotta answer Texas questions. While riding the horse? While riding the horse. We gotta go get the saddle. <laughs> yeah, at least be a stranger. <laughs> Hat. Gotta get the hat. Uh, that one, yeah. Hmm. Never mind. That's later. Hey, my favorite man. Need something? Yes. May I go riding now? Yep. If you got everything I yep. told you you need, and you think you know your stuff when it comes to horses, old Bob's all yours. Talk to you later. <laughs> if you last that long. Yeah. If you last that long. Hey. All right. Come on, Bob. All right. All we needed, right? Yeah. Oh. All right, we're good. Yeah. All right, see you later, Bob. Have a good day, Bob. <laughs> All right, I couldn't resist. <laughs> good work today, today, Bob. <laughs> Maybe go towards the front. Oh, Come yeah. on, Bob. Come on, Bob. Come on, Bob. Hee ho. <laughs> I'm ready. Ready for some questions? I think so. Where's the horse's hocks? The answer is 27. I don't remember. Well, ham hocks. Try the first one. On its oh. back legs. That's one out of ten. Okay. Ha ha! Ask Ask something, else. something else. Where's the horse's frog? That's bottom of its hoof. hoof yeah. On the bottom of its hoof. Two out of ten. Got a long way to go. Yep. We have a horse girl. Yeah, Chrissy. Ask me something else. How tall is a horse that's fifteen hands? Five, five feet. Five feet. Three down. Seven to go. Ask me something else. What kind of a horse is a Paso Fino? <laughs> Chrissy, wake up. <laughs> uh. I think it's a quarter horse. <laughs> gated. gated. A gated horse. That's four right. Ah. Ask me something else. How can you tell if a horse is colicking? It keeps, oh, it's the first one. It keeps lying it down. It keeps lying down, then standing up. That's five. You're halfway there. Ask me something else. What's the difference between a bay and a chestnut? Oh, yeah, that one I don't know. <laughs> That'd be awesome. <laughs> bay has black points, okay. A bay has black points. Bingo. That was number six. Ask me something else. What <laughs> tribe bred the first Appaloosas? It was the Nez Pierce. Nez Purse? <laughs> That's what I don't remember. <laughs> the Nez Pierce. Seven down. It is You're in the yeah. home stretch. Ask me something else. What part of a horse is most likely to be hurt when it founders? Uh, Isn't that stomach? I don't know. 
Or is founders the... Oh, feet. feet. Okay. It's feet. Eight right. Just two to go. Ask me something else. What part of the saddle should you always check before you head out on the That's trail? That's cinch. That's the what cinch. I just cinched, right? This here is yeah. your final question. I'm, I'm ready. ready. What is a mule? Isn't it the offspring of a male horse and a female donkey? I don't know. It's one of the... Because they have the... <laughs> you are not a mule. Female horse, male donkey. Okay. The offspring of a female horse and a male donkey. Well, you answered all the questions right. And I can tell by the way you sit, you ain't gonna go falling off for no good reason. So you're free to ride outside the corral. Just don't go galloping all over the place. Because yeah. if you bring old Bob back all hot and sweaty, you can kiss your cowgirl days at Shadow Ranch goodbye. Okay, Bob. What do you say we do some sightseeing? <laughs> Okay, we can go riding. Let's go see Mary Yazzie, the most unaccompanied. Uh, uh, She's a bitch. Cat in the very big bed. <laughs> Willow's that clump in the blanket. <laughs> Let her ride that pony, pony. Let her ride that pony. All right, let's go bother Mary Yazzie. Hey. He has overtaken the big bed. Quit playing with your coins and talk to me, Mary! Hi, can I help you? Hi, are you Mary Yazi? That's me. I didn't hear a car. Did you hike in or come by horse? Bob brought me. He's a horse. <laughs> My name's Nancy. So where are you staying? <laughs> I'm sorry, but that response made her sound special ed. You did sound special ed for a second. Bob brought me. Bob's a horse. My <laughs> name's Matt Nancy. With Ed and Elizabeth Raleigh. In fact, I have something for you. Bet wanted me to give you this. Great. I want to buy a small piece of property from them. It must be their response. Bad news? They rejected my offer. Well, I guess that's that. But as long as you're here, look around. All the jewelry you see, all the rugs, the beadwork, the pottery, they were all made by local artists, including yours truly. So if you want to know something, Pretty much. especially if you want to know how much something is, just ask. I understand that you bought a trunk full of junk from the Raleigh's recently. Yeah, they didn't want much for it, so I took it off their hands. Problem is, I still don't know what's in it because I can't figure out how to open it. Have you asked the Raleigh's about it? They were no help, although they did <laughs> offer to buy it back from me. I just told him to keep looking for a way to get it open. It was great talking to you. Thanks for stopping by. Hi, can I help you with something? It was great talking to you. Ride safely. Do we have to do anything for her? Can we not Tuning do that yet? forks. Cool. Uh, we have a task list. Yes. That's done. I haven't done that yet. Can't oh, check that off till it's done. That's done. That's done. That's done. I can say that if friends are indigenous. That's check. 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 I'm finished with that. Check. Hey, Dave. Okay. Okay. Three holes inside that desk. I thought I did take a look inside that desk. I did? I haven't done that. Hey, hey, hey. Sounds good, Chrissy. Indoors. That's not right. Nope. 
Dang it. Pretty sure this is what I want. I think that's the way I want it to work. Yes, yes. Ah, oh, shit. Regardless if we finish this tonight or not, we're playing ice tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah, I know. That's usually... I don't know, I felt like ice and I, I, I feel like I want to... I want to do the cooking. <laughs> He's doing Fox and Geese. Just saying. I like Fox and Geese. <laughs> he likes Fox and Geese. It's not going to be a pain. He likes Fox and Geese. Yes, it's called in front of a computer playing fox and geese. It's called therapy. <laughs> I think you might have to get one more closer to them. I'm trying to remember how to do this. No idea. Tell me. You like here? Try to go one more. Yes. Yeah, see? Oh, that's right. Okay, you're right. Got it. Thank you. You're smart. Yeah. I love Scopa. why they're not doing pre-orders for the new game. I wonder if it's gonna come out at, on Steam at the same time. Cool! An old token. Or something. That's not what she looks like. Yeah, we got her number now. Hi, can I help you with something? I won I'm... something that looks like a token when I played that game. I'm gonna over get there. it regardless. What is it? They actually used those for something back in the 1880s, but I don't know what. It was Did great you... talking to you. Ride safely. Did you see the trick? Did we talk about this? Did you see the trailer? That trunk looks really old. Would you mind if I tried to get this open? Please do. <laughs> if you get it open, I'll let you keep something from it. You can have your pick. Something goes oh, here. I still couldn't believe that it was that ga like it's coming out that quick. Yeah. Like that's what gets me is I can't believe it's coming out that quick. Once I saw that release date, I was like, "That's a little like three weeks." Like I figured it'd be later this year. <laughs> well, actually, I don't need to lift that. I just need to take it off. There we go. Put that back. Oh my gosh! I Dang, better put that back. Oh no, sister. I just opened it. Rup, rup. <laughs> yeah. 
you still I here? Get back you there. sound surprised. You and your friends, if they ever show up, you ain't gonna last more than three days out here. Well, I hope you like surprises, Tex, because you're in for one. City folk can't take living out here. Too rugged, too much work, too dangerous. I understand you have a sister named Jane Nash. So what if I do? I found a pretty nasty letter from someone named Aww, Jane Nash like on the Raleigh's desk. That don't mean it was my sister. Hey, you've been snooping, haven't you? In the Raleigh stuff? In my stuff? I'm just very observant, that's all. My business ain't none of your business. And that includes any sisters I may or may not have. You need to go. I'm busy. I'm busy. I'm busy. I can make a rap album with this. I'm busy. <laughs> yeah. I still remember when Christine and I played this the first time. She loaded it up on her computer and I could hear the music and then the chickens in the background and mm. stuff. <laughs> Oh, come on. Really had to unlock it again? Before I got to her house to play it. <laughs> what else was there? There should oh, be a letter from the sister. Right there. Yeah, we read this. Oh. And we just asked him about it, too. Is there... Hold yeah, on, let me I put this away. Just... No, not yet. Well, that's what we're working on, but it said I had to search the... That's just the letter. Early, but I think, I guess, check to see if you can check it off now. We talked to Tex about it, maybe that's... Can't check that off nope. till it's done. Huh. Okay. Go, now we can do the trunk. Did we get the... The key looking things? No. Three things yet? Oh. Hello? Hi, Mrs. Raleigh. It's Nancy again. Hi, Nancy. It's Nancy. I can hear that. How is Mr. Raleigh doing? Let's get something straight right now. Even though we're Bess and George's aunt and uncle and not yours, I want you to call us Aunt Bet and Uncle Ed, too. Got that? All right. Good. Now, what was the question? How is Mr. Ra I mean, Uncle Ed doing? Well, he's running a slight fee so the doctors are a little concerned. Oh, I'm fine. They're going to keep him here overnight, just to make sure he isn't developing some kind of infection. Oh, but enough about us. How are you doing? I delivered that envelope to Mary Yazzie like you asked. She seemed a little upset when she read that you'd turned her down. Ooh. I'm sorry to disappoint her, but if we sell that property to her, it would send a signal to other would-be buyers that we're interested in selling the ranch off bit by bit, and we're not. What does she want the property for? I have no idea. The parcel she wants to buy is nowhere near her store, and there's nothing but rocks on it. Maybe someone else there at the ranch knows, but we sure don't. I heard about the phantom horse. Was last night the first time it showed up? As far as I know, it was the strangest thing. Shorty kept babbling about how it was the ghost of the horse that belonged to some outlaw. Dirk Valentine? But that was right after Ed got himself bit, and we were all running around trying to get him into the truck to take him to the hospital, and I really wasn't paying much attention. <laughs> Do you have any idea where the horse sure. came from? None whatsoever. She wants to know where that phantom horse came from. I was hoping she could tell us. You're the detective, dear. If you want to snoop around and see what you can find out about that creature, by all means, please do. It doesn't look like Bess and George are going to get here today. That's too bad. Why not? Their plane had to land in Omaha because of mechanical problems. They don't know when they'll be taking off. So, you'll have all those cowboys to yourself for a while. That Dave is pretty cute. Dave's okay, but Tex <laughs> is a different story. That man scared the bejeepers out of me when he came in to interview. But he kind of grows on you, and he takes real good care of the horses. I'll be in touch. <laughs> we'll be right here. I don't know if I've ever Bye. had that conversation with Bet before. What? About how Dave's cute? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Freaking joke. No, that's Martin. If it goes Hello? through. Hi, guys. So what Aunt Bet and Uncle Ed say? Get she too this. wants to smash. Last night, Uncle Ed she wants to Bet shove her head in between those cheeks. Oh my 
my gosh! Are they okay? Whoa, 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 well, whoa, whoa. actually, it bit Uncle Ed. <gasps> Is he all right? He will be. Right now, he's in the hospital. He'll probably be there for a day or two. Aunt Bet's staying with him. Oh my gosh! And apparently a phantom horse showed up at just about the same time as that snake. A phantom horse? Of all the times to get stranded in some stupid airport. Look, you just better keep us posted, Nancy Drew. That's all I gotta say. Apparently last night, this glowing horse came galloping up out of nowhere, caused a huge commotion, then went galloping off and disappeared. It was glowing? Evidently, it was pretty spooky. You're there investigating phantom horses, and what are we doing? A big fat nothing. That does it, George. <laughs> We're suing the airline. Shorty <laughs> Thurmond? He says the phantom horse belonged to this outlaw named Dirk Valentine, who was hanged back in the 1880s. Is this Valentine guy a phantom, too? Okay, uh, Karen. <laughs> I don't think so. Well, how come his horse got to become a phantom and he didn't? Bess, phantoms don't really exist, okay? According to legend, seeing the horse is bad luck. I believe it. I mean, look at what happened to the guy who owned him. Cheeseburger. Don't you think it's kind of odd how that rattlesnake showed up in the Raleigh's bedroom right after that phantom horse showed up outside? Oh, you don't buy that it was an unfortunate coincidence? Dave said when the horse appeared, everyone ran outside to look. So you're saying someone used the horse to lure everyone outside, then put the snake in their room knowing no one would be watching? It's possible, don't you think? But if you're right, it means someone wants to hurt Aunt Bet and Uncle Ed. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. gosh. My gosh. if my you're gosh. right, gosh. it means that someone is on the ranch. And whoever it is must be working with an accomplice. You know, someone to wrangle the horse. So everyone there is a suspect. That's right. Well, you don't have to sound so happy about it. I finally went for a trail ride. You went horseback riding? I rode to this store that this woman named Mary Yazzie owns. She seems to have a bit of an Hi. attitude problem Hi. when it comes to the Raleigh's. Boop. Apparently, she wants to buy some land from the Raleigh's that they don't want to sell. What's on the property? According to the Raleigh's, nothing but rocks. They just don't feel like selling it to her or to anyone else. She may have an ulterior motive. And where there's an ulterior motive, That's there's right. almost always a suspect. That's it for now. Two words, Nancy. Uh, Call, Call us. <laughs> Open that again. Hmm. Key. Lock. Meet. Open. Hi. Gotta be something we're missing. Yep, we got this already. Oh, right there. They're right there. Close. Yes. Oh! Now we're good. I'm dumb. Can't check that off yet. What? Oh. Um, oh well. Oh. Is someone here? Yes. Of. This one? Right. This doesn't look like it was ever opened. As usual, things did not work out like I planned. It's just when dirty. I get everything fixed just right for you to go looking for the thing I hid for you, I go and get myself arrested. But no matter what you hear, nothing is going to happen to me. I will be fine and we will be together soon, I promise. Meanwhile, you can keep busy by looking for what I hid. Start by using this piece of paper to mark where all the rock pictures are. They will tell you what to do next. Your favorite flowers and the flowers on your favorites, start keeping them in mind too. I will leave a message for you in this here cell, just in case they decide to move me to the jail down in Tumbleweed or something. I like vexing your brain, because when you are thinking real hard, like when you're playing the piano, you are more beautiful than anything in the world. I am sure to be out of here before you find my treasure, but in case I am not, know that it is all yours, and that you are more precious to me than 10,000 treasures put together. 9, 12, 15, 22, 5... 25, 15, 21. Dirk. P.S. 
I do not and never will hold what your father did to me against you. P-P-P-S. I left my boots under the gallows. That air for you. <laughs> P-P-P-S. I'm dead. <laughs> July 4th, 1882. Got sworn in as sheriff. Sworn in. It was the 4th, so it's like all them celebrations was for me, which of course they weren't. Francis thought up a song and played it on the piano for me. I forget how it went, but it was pretty. I'm lucky to have her for a daughter. Herford Shoup come by with a plant he brung from New York, which he calls Harrison's Yellow. Looked right dead to me, but Francis planted it out back give it some water, and already it looks to be on the mend. She's 17 and can read and write good and knows her numbers. Herford's thinking to marry her, but I said she ain't of that mind yet. March 30th, 1883. Frances has got eyes for a young man named Dirk. She says he's from Prescott. Cappy says when she plays the piano, this Dirk makes everyone be quiet so he can hear her good. I ain't never seen her smile like she smiles now. I told her to bring him to the ranch for dinner, but she says he won't come because he is too shy. I wonder if that is the truth. April 16th, 1883. Got a letter from the sheriff over in Phoenix about this Dirk Valentine who was wanted for robbing two banks in a stagecoach. The picture with the letter looked just like Dirk, who Francis is sweet on. When I showed her the picture, she got tearful and run off. Now, Dirk is gone, and she won't say nothing about where he went. August 2nd, 1883. Dirk Valentine is robbing banks and coaches and trains all over the territory. Francis says he never ever shoots his gun and only steals from people that already got plenty of money. But that ain't true, because some of them trains he robbed was carrying money, meant to pay miners or hard-earned wages. He is nothing but a no-good, greedy outlaw. But Francis gets real mad when I say that. I fear she is still sweet on him, and that she sees him when she knows I am I'm busy. Robin the hook. Gets letters from him, which she hides from me. September 9th, 1883. Got hold of a note Francis sent to Dirk, and saw what they was going to meet. So I got a posse, and we caught Dirk, and now he's in jail. The judge is coming next week, and I hear he is a hanging judge, so Dirk most likely ain't long for this world. Francis won't say nothing to me no more and says she never will again. September 13th, 1883. Dirk sends a secret letter to Francis, which Mason got hold of and give to me. I locked it up so she won't ever read it. Francis ain't allowed to see Dirk in jail, of course. If she never sees his letter, maybe she will think he don't like her no more and, and maybe she will stop liking him. Francis's ma would have known what to do better than me. I wish she was still alive. September 17th, 1883. They hung Dirk at noon. I thought I would be glad, but I ain't. September 18th, 1883. Francis took Brownie in my big saddlebag and is gone. She ain't told no one where she's going, not even Cappy. But I know she will forget Dirk, and when she does, she will come home because she's a smart gal and will figure out that I did what I'd done for her. January 4th, 1884. My sister says her little girl Ellie got a letter that said Francis went east and was not of a mind to ever return. I hope this ain't the truth, because I miss her something awful. June 11th, 1884. The Harrison's yellow, which Francis said was her favorite flower in the world, is just a pile of brown sticks now. Yep. I don't know how to leave you out of things like that. You're good. So it is my fault that it died. I ain't seen or heard from Francis in a year. I tell people she's on her way home, but when I look in my heart, I know this is a lie. She'll never come back to Shadow Ranch, and it is my fault. I would just have to find a way to live with it. They shouldn't have hung him.
check that off yet. Can't check that off till it's done. Check. Can't check that off yet. What is in the damn desk? I don't know. No one. Uh, I guess I can go back and open the trunk of Mary's. Oh, okay. Not that my family's any of your concern, but my sister did work for the Raleigh's back in Phoenix. She got fired, she got mad, but she's over it. Okay? Why didn't you tell me that before? Because it makes me look bad. I figured no one'd ever find out, and when you did, I just got all flustered. Flustered back. Flustered me, Nancy. Howdy. Howdy, Nancy. Anyway. So all the bad stuff that's been going on around here, it's not because you're helping her get back at the Raleigh's for letting her go? Fact is, my sister can be kind of a flake. <laughs> I'd probably fired her too. <laughs> Do you know anything about the treasure that Dirk Valentine supposedly hid for his sweetheart? Nope. Nope. Ah, somehow I knew you were going to say that. Talk to you later. No hurry. Alright. Moving on. Bob. Hi, Bob. Don't worry, Bob. We'll kill you later. We will. <laughs> Not that I really want to, but you know I got to. Technically, if I don't tighten down the cinch, doesn't that Come end on, it too? Bob. No, Nancy falls off of him. Oh, that's great. Oh, well, yeah. But yes, if you don't tighten the cinch, yes. Need some travel music. Peaches, 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 peaches. Oh, yeah. Oh, I think we have to call Charlena. To find out about this? Yes. They'll let you. Not inside, at least. No, but it's a trigger thing where you have to call her. Hello, this is Charlena Purcell. Charlena Purcell's office. Hi, my name is Nancy Drew. May I please speak to Miss Purcell? Concerning? I'm staying at a ranch in central Arizona, and since she knows so much about the history of Arizona, I thought maybe she could answer some questions for me. Questions concerning? Well, I Hi, came Nikki. across a very old Hello. trunk that might contain no stuff that has to do with these people named Dirk Valentine and Francis Humber. Only I can't hey. open it. Did you say Dirk Valentine? And his girlfriend, Francis Humber, yes. Huh. Oh, would you hold, please? Thank you for holding. <laughs> and thank you for calling the office of Charlene of Purcell. Suck it! Yes. Purcell's latest novel, like Wind Through My Heart, was an instant bestseller. Yeah, I and felt like playing so Nancy novels, and... It recently received the I agree. We're still going to play Ice tomorrow, Island. but... <laughs> Reading a Charlene Purcell novel is like traveling through time to the <laughs> Old Southwest on the wings of love. This is Charlene. Who is this again? Uh, Nancy Drew? Tell me about the trunk you found. Well, to open it, I need to put these wrenches in these three holes. But I don't know in which directions they need to be pointing. That does sound like it came from the Humber family. Is there any kind of picture on it? Yes, as a matter of fact, there's this kind of abstract design made up of hearts and doves and the initials E-H and A-H. E-H would be Eldridge Humber and A-H would be Abigail Humber. Frances Humber's grandparents on her father's side. Her mother died when she was 10. Now, the picture, no doubt, commemorates their wedding day, which was... 4-9-11. April 9th, 1811. Those numbers must have something to do with the directions in which those wrenches need to be pointing. I'm afraid I wouldn't know. In the course of my research, I've only read about the trunks Merrill and Eldridge Humber handcrafted. I've never actually opened one. However... I've been running across fascinating tidbits concerning the Humber family and stashing them away for years. When I have enough tidbits stashed away, I may well write a book about them. Then you'd probably be very interested to know what's in this trunk. Yes, I would. And since I've helped you, or tried to, it's only fair that you help me, don't you think? Sure, I'll keep you posted. Did I mention that I'm staying at Shadow Ranch? 
This just gets better and better. I'll tell my assistant to put your calls through immediately. By the way, why are you so interested in the Humbers? Knowing more about them and what happened in the past may help me figure out something that's going on in the present. I'm kind of a detective. That makes two of us. I'll be waiting to hear from you. That was creepy. Here's Shorty. 4-9-11. 4 9 11 That's for nine. I think seven, eight, nine. Oh, come on. There. Ah, come on, I had it. You are stupid, thank you. I got the trunk open! Great, thank you. Go ahead and take something from it. You deserve a reward. If I want something else from the trunk, I should put back what I took before. I can softlock myself, can't I? Take that though, right? Yes. So take that badge then? Yeah. Hi, can I help you with something? Are there many petroglyphs around here? If you take the trail to Cougar Bend, there are hundreds. A lot of them were probably made by the Anasazi. They lived in the area until about 700 years ago, when they just suddenly picked up and left. It was great talking to you. Ride safely. <sighs> Drive simply. <laughs> this, this game makes me want to watch. Bed. Makes me want to watch Spirit. Oh jeez. <laughs> Is that the trail step with the rock? Cougar Bend. Oh, the the movie. It's a cartoon movie spirit about the horse. Oh, it just it just. No, that's. No. Um, yeah, spirit of the Cimarron. Thank you, Coco. Hey, Coco. Hi. Do, 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 do. Got it. Objection! Oh wait. There we go. Objection! Objection! Setting something up too. Objection! Because it reminded me, I think I have this. Let's see, I think it's... Yes, okay, cool. So... Give me one sec, sorry, I'm setting something up. I'm not upside down, I want. Objection! Ah. Um, no. <laughs> this is, this is like up there. Ah. What the hell? It's a goddamn cougar in the car. Oh, there's a cougar in the car. I'll oh, put good. it in there. You got to learn to drive with, with the, the fear. fear. <laughs> ain't nothing yep. more goddamn frightening than driving with a live cougar in the car. <laughs> so my two favorite games, I have two because my favorite um, of the older games is Finn. I love Finn. And my favorite of the newer games is Cap. Not up there. Right? Yeah. Yes, I just, I really felt like Shah, and then I also felt like Ice because I want to do the cooking. <laughs> that was over here, right? Would that be over there? 
Same area, camera. Eventually, we have to get. Uh, Isn't this here? Uh, yeah. Is it? Oh jeez. <laughs> no. No, it, it's in the wrong spot. Hold on. Passed out the snow. I think that's over here. And no, they might be closer to the ground. Like here? Uh, or... This one? I don't know. Yeah. Ah, this one? Yeah. No. No. If I had a rope, I could lasso that tree branch and pull myself up. Because we can't view any of those up there. Nope. Oh, wait, where the hell's a hand? These are over here. These are here. That's there. Lower down on the rock, so that's this one. This is Squiggly Squoo. Right there. Squiggly Squoo. So, I think that goes there, right? Yeah. Where the hell's a hand go? I don't know. Awesome. Cool. Well, where did you find the hand? I don't know! The hand showed up after I did this one. I don't remember. Game Grumps played Nancy Drew? I didn't know that. Let's go search that up. Yeah, we'll I usually I usually put them on the TV and fall asleep. Oh, there's the hand. One of the Chrissy was telling me that Jack Septicai's girlfriend got him to play one. Really? Yes. Right, Chrissy? Is Chrissy still here? Yeah. But Ice and oh, oh gosh, the Thornton Hall is pretty good too. Oh, you played castle with her? Oh, hold on. That That's a one. I miss NDL. <laughs> but... He said good. Sounds <laughs> like upstairs people. people are best I'm, I'm downstairs, downstairs people. <laughs> Alright, so I screwed this up. So, Better Horse is my in real life friend Christy, who I play the Nancy Drew games with. Oh, that's true. Yeah. That goes there. It's Irish. <laughs> Oh, right. That makes sense. Yep, okay, so those that's where that goes, okay. So I think that's all we can get right now. Oh, nope, here we go. This one. Yep, you got it. I believe. Yeah, Chrissy, Nikki, Nikki, Chrissy. Nikki is who we went to Massachusetts to see get married. I guess I'll go to the trail stop. So we need to learn how to lasso. Oh, that's right, we gotta collect these arrowheads too. Here lies Charlie, best mule would ever live. Never kicked me or nothing. Rip. Nine January 1981. Best mule ever done lived. Rip, Charlie. I don't think we get the rock here, but this is where we. I'm collecting arrowheads. Oh yeah, arrowheads. Yes. 
this for later. Mary Yazi, right? Better not leave old Bob behind. That's as far as we can go. I think there's seven of them. Are they all here? No. <laughs> if it's gonna be second. dumb, you gotta be tough. Have to do all the second chances. Correct. When you get knocked down, you gotta get back up. Chrissy, did, did Jack like Nancy Drew? <laughs> I think I'll let Bob do the walking. Alright, Bob. Time to go. Bobs were made for walking, that's just what they do. <laughs> One of these days, these bobs are gonna walk right over you. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hi, yeah, can I, I help imagine. you with something? It was great talking to you. Catch you later. All right, so. I was like, I would like to see Gruber react to Cap. <laughs> no, thank you, we already got one. <laughs> Lucas, so got to go. <laughs> He likes making fun of the fake German stuff. Yeah, I love Lucas. He's so funny. And Carl. <laughs> <laughs> Lucas is a lot of people's spirit animal. <laughs> what? 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 Yuck, yuck, yuck. I got him gone. I got him gone. No worries. <laughs> need something? I need a rope. Do you think I could borrow yours? Nope. Talk to you later. Yahoo. <laughs> no, no. I was on top of it. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. I'll leave that to you guys then. Shroom does it for her. <laughs> uh. Can't check that off yet. Okay, I was be right back. And yes, you were. You were BRB. Miss Welcome Nancy, if how may I be of service? <laughs> Have you ever met Mary Yazi? Of course. Nice lady. I mean, for the most part. Gets real unfriendly when the subject oh. of the Rowleys comes up. Hi, Shroom. Hi, Shroom. Uh, oh, oh I... What'd you... That was wrong. That was not current. That was me pressing buttons. Shroom's not here. Oh, never mind. Well... <laughs> Actually, she might be, but... Oh, I hope I didn't just Beetlejuice it. I jumped up in chat because I had stuff... It's a, it's a whole thing. I was trying to do this. Nobody cares. About Shorty. Nobody cares. Do you know anything about the piece of property she's been trying to buy from the Raleigh's? Well, I know she says she wants to buy it because she feels spiritually drawn to it. But I think she's got something up her sleeve. Oh, Nancy, it's great having you here. I mean, I like to talk, you know? I like to converse, to debate, to discuss. Oh, Shorty. <laughs> How about new? Hello. You like to gossip, don't you? More than anything. <laughs> Which isn't a bad thing. People like you and I are fascinated by the human condition, that's all. So, who else do you want to talk about? <laughs> uh, nobody, really. Well, I'd better get going. Come back soon. Say it. Say what? Oh. Well, I could just do that. Here's Shorty. Got it. We'll be here. Okay, so... 
Yeah, no worries. Y'all are good. Y'all are good. That's done. Enjoy the lurk. That's done. I'm finished with that. Can't check that off till it's done. Yes, I'm. Be safe. That's done. Now it checks off. Ritz crackers. Ritz crackers are good. Ouch. Oh, did we show Nikki? What? No, I don't think so. Okay, be safe, Chrissy. Make sure she's here first, though. Nikki, are you here? <sighs> okay, we show you. Birthday present from Dirk. So you know how you got me the Jake mug? Dirk got me a Willow mug. Including her being a complete goofball. If I could get it to show up. And, and. That side? Oh, shoot. What'd you drop? My phone. Oh. And. Is that right? Not like this. Willow blanket. <laughs> Can't so check that off. Can't check that off. I haven't done Jake that. Mug, I'm finished with Willow that. Mug. Jake blanket, Willow blanket. Hello, Nancy. Something I can do for you? I found a letter that may have been written by Dirk Valentine to Francis excited. Humber way back in the 1880s. What do you know about them? I know there's a painting of her over in the ranch house, and the that's about side. it. Oh Why? yeah. And what the letter say? It's technically for Christmas because we haven't seen each other. Yes, yes, Ozzy mug and blanket. Yes, the letter yes. made it sound like Dirk was sending Francis on Chrissy some kind of treasure hunt. Well, if the guy did Christmas, hide something, it's herself, probably long gone by now. I'll let you get back to work. Beagle mouse pad yeah. and a beagle journal and then a little like beagle statue thing that I could put out in the yard or like outside <laughs> as a decoration. <laughs> So my birthday was very beagle themed this year. Thank you for holding, <laughs> and thank you for calling the office of Charlena Purcell. Miss Purcell's latest novels, like Went Through My Heart, was a scratch up ticket. bestseller, and like so many of her novels. <sighs> Never mind. Let's see. Call Frank and Joe. What is it this time? Uh, excuse me? Nancy, hi. Oh, yeah, no worries. Sorry, I thought you were somebody no worries. else. You're great. Who'd you think I was? Hey, Nancy. Hi, Frank. I thought you were this guy we're doing some work for. You guys are on a case? That's great. <laughs> no, it's not. It turns out the guy is a bit neurotic. What do you mean? He wants us to track down his missing laptop. He left it in a restaurant. Only he keeps calling us. Yeah, like every two minutes. He's become a real nuisance. Maybe you no. should just quit. Can't. What? You're so easily distracted. Coco, thank you for this. If you're still here.
They're hilarious. Why not? The guy's filthy rich. And if we find that laptop, he said he'd make us filthy rich. But the real reason we can't quit is he's the son of our mother's best friend. Yeah. <laughs> if we quit, we'd never hear the end of it. Uh oh, we've got another call. Let him leave a message for the nine millionth time. So, Nancy, tell us about the ranch. <laughs> And I miss. I fire and I miss. And I fire it again. And I miss. <laughs> Still bringing it into the sound room. Oh, Jesus. Oh, that the Raleigh's aren't here because Mr. Raleigh was like bitten by guys. a rattlesnake last night. They're a lot funnier oh. than I am. How bad off is he? He's still in the hospital, but they think he's going to be okay. And that's not all that happened last night. We're listening. Apparently, this glowing horse came running up to the ranch house, caused everybody to go rushing out to look, then went racing off into the night. We get nut jobs who can't keep track of their computers. And what does Nancy get? Horses that glow in the dark. I mean, I know life isn't fair, but this is ridiculous. Catch you later. See ya, partner. Ride him, cowgirl. Yeehaw, bitches. Sorry. Hello? Hey, Beth. Nancy, our link to the world of excitement and intrigue and decent food. What's the latest? <laughs> Has either of you two ever read anything by an author named Charlena Purcell? She writes romance novels that take place in the Old West. That rules me out. I saw her on a talk show once. She seemed kind of full of herself. Why do you ask? I had to call her in order to open this old heroes. trunk at Mary Yazzie's. She knows a lot about the people right. who used to live at Shadow Ranch. I bet I know more about 19th century <laughs> clothing design than she does. Yeah. Would you believe I found a letter that Dirk Valentine wrote to Francis Humber? No way. It was locked up in this chest that belonged to her father. And the letter was oh, never opened. According to his journal, her father intercepted it and locked it away before Francis could read it. So did you read it? Of course she did. I mean, she better have. Well, ain't this the truth? Said that Dirk hit a bunch of his loot somewhere. I got shells of loot. I ain't getting my shells of loot. <laughs> Not till I'm dead and hung and gone for a while. Yes, sir. I need to go out. I'll kick your ass, Ma. <laughs> Ouch. Ma, I need to go. All right, we should probably take him out. We will be right back. Oh. That actually really hurt. Oh, him? Yes. Sure. How'd you claw him? I'm gonna keep playing. Oh, yeah, go for it. Hee hee hee. I still the comfy chair. I jam. fired and I missed. And then I fired again and I missed. And then I had a popsicle and I passed out in the snow. <laughs> Hello. It said that Dirk hid a bunch of his loot somewhere. Ooh, I love it when outlaws hide loot, don't you? What'd the letter say? Well, evidently Dirk wanted Francis to have the loot he'd stashed, so he set up this elaborate treasure hunt for her. The letter contained all sorts of weird, obscure clues to help her find what he'd hidden. But if the letter was never opened... Francis couldn't have found the treasure. Oh my gosh, it could still be out there. And someone could be using that phantom horse to chase the Raleigh's off the ranch because they want to be the ones to find it. We're stuck here when we could be there with you looking for hidden loot? That does it, George. We're suing the airline and the airport. How about some hints? I think that can be arranged. What do you need? I'm not sure what I should do next. Check that task list you keep in your notepad, or the case notes you keep there. Maybe those will help. That's it for now. Stay in touch. That's an order. Miss Nancy, how may I be of service? Well, I'd better get going. Don't be a stranger. <laughs> yes, that's the that's safe. I could. Hello, Nancy. Something I can do for you? I'll let you get back to work. See you later. Oh, 
Okay, let's check our task list. I haven't done that yet. Can't check that off till it's done. Can't check that off. Can't check that off yet. Can't check that off till it's done. <laughs> My Mary's are here to buy the reason. Okay. I haven't done that yet. Yeah, because we can't get to him. Oh, do we open I this? I wonder how you open this. Bingo! Dirk's going to take the dogs out. You be hey, hey, hey. mountain when she goes. Oh, lay. I can't take anymore. Where are you going? You can't leave. The Raleigh said we were to have a cookout and entertain our guests. Yeah, well, I don't call this entertainment. It's worse than whatever that stuff was you cooked. That was lamb ragu for your information, and it was great. If you couldn't appreciate it, it's because your taste buds are about as sophisticated as a sand fleas. I think I'll turn in too. Night, ma'am. Next time, just stick to burgers. That too, Brute. You see that? You see what I put up with? Day in and day out, I cast my culinary pearls before ungrateful, uncultured swine. Well, I'll show them. I'll write a best-selling cookbook. That's what I'll do. Then I'll get my own TV show. Then I'll do a movie. And while they're out here punching cattle, I'll become a gazillionaire. Gazillion isn't a real word! <laughs> She'll be coming around the mountain when she comes. She'll be coming around the mountain when she comes. There's explosions all around you. You're gonna get burned in the world when she comes. Next morning. And you say this happened right after that phantom horse showed up again? The pump house blew just as the horse was galloping away. Oh, my, this is awful. Maybe Shorty was right. Maybe that horse is a bad omen. I'm more inclined to think that someone is using that horse to divert attention. What do you mean? It's possible that while everyone's attention was on that horse, someone sabotaged the pump house. Oh, Why on lovely. earth would someone sabotage the pump house? Someone may be trying to chase you off the ranch. But why? That, yeah. I don't know. I don't blame you. Yet. Closing shifts suck. You don't suck. think Tex or Shorty or Dave is somehow involved, do you? It's possible, but I just don't know yet. Oh, my. You might not be safe there. Maybe we should send but her home. I'll those be guys? fine. Really, Game I Bruce. want to help, and I that can help. Well, They're hilarious. They have the ship for you. Here he is. Hey, I'm Grump. I'm not so Grump. And where are the Game Grumps? <laughs> that clip was hilarious, though. I fired, I fired my gun, and I missed. And I fired again, I missed again. <laughs> then I ate a popsicle. I passed out in the snow. <laughs> Got up. I reloaded. <laughs> I missed again. <laughs> Can you think of anyone who might have a grudge against you? No, but I'll tell you what. Ed and I will put our thinking caps on, and if anything comes to us, we'll call you. Have you called the sheriff and told him all this? Not yet. Tell her about the storms. Tell me about the what? The storms. You need to be careful when you go riding because it can be sunny one minute and pouring down rain the next. I'll be careful. Good. 
And if you have any more questions, just call. One more thing. Yeah. Until I figure out what's going on, it would probably be a good idea Jane not Mary. to mention my suspicions to anyone at the ranch. Of course. Keep in touch. I will. <laughs> Bye. She sends out a freaking email. Anyone who has a grudge against us, you better let us know. We will find you and we will prosecute. Go riding. I guess now maybe we can talk to Tex about getting the lasso. Possibly. Oh, we got a shorty. Oh, the map. There's... But I want corn fritters! Sorry, we should probably. I just don't want to lose our chance. Map? You have to go. That thing? Yes. We will find you and shoot you outside. Got it. Can I help you find something? No, actually, I pretty much found everything on my own. For your information, I got those maps because I was hoping there might be a long lost Shorty. gold mine or two around here. But like most of my get rich quick ideas, it didn't pan out. Apparently, <laughs> there's no out. gold left in them thar hills, or silver, or copper, or anything else. But well, here there be I dragons. I don't want to catch you in my stuff again. Hey, you're crowding me here, Nancy. I need elbow room when I cook. Sorry. Yes? I'm embarrassed that you caught me snooping through your stuff. Just proves we're birds of a feather. I've been known to go poking through other people's stuff myself. Have you been out to the pump house? All the water to the ranch house has been cut off. The livestock will still get water from the windmills, but we humans are going to have to get every single drop of water we use from the faucet in the pump house. And that's going to be a royal pain. Why can't that darn horse do its cursed thing somewhere else? You really think what happened to the pump house was the result of bad luck? I saw the pipe. It was rusted through. That's why it burst. That and bad vibes from that equine Guys, banshee. You're a slut. <laughs> Got any chores you want me to do? Do exactly what you did for me yesterday, and I'll be forever grateful. Start by picking all the ripe stuff in the garden again. Baskets outside. Well, I'd better get going. Pleasure talking to you. All right. Yay fucking how? Oh, it's a basket. Yep. He's staying. guys are good? I think so. I'm gonna double check. I can never freaking remember. Here, let me just break the game again. Dry beans, dry beans, that's right. Okay, so those are good. Tomatoes. What are these? Golden queens? So these are good then. Right? Uh no I don't think. Or is this the right one? I think that's Okay. So these guys are good. Yeah, I'll look on the other side. This, okay, so these the... So these are all not this one, but these. Well, these are overripe, right? Well grab those. Um that one and that one. Northern lights are not ready. No. I think that's... Because the Romanos, those are the, the middle ones. When I hit search. Snap beans. Oh. Oh. Yeah, Romanos, bush and pole. So that's... It's so hot, I should get these vegetables into Shorty right away. Pick those vegetables for me yet? You betcha. Hey, there's stuff that's way overripe in here. Well, I'll just pitch it. In the meantime, go back out there and try again. You got it. There's more ripe stuff out there than that. You bet there is. 
Maybe you're right. That's all I'm risking. It's so hot, I should get these vegetables into Shorty right away. There's more rap stuff out there than that. You bet there is. Frick. Ah. There's more rap stuff out there than that. Nobody you bet cares. there is. Okay, what are we missing? Welcome back, Chrissy. Welcome back. We're picking vegetables. Those aren't ready. Those aren't ready, right? No, I don't think so. Those, Those are. definitely aren't. Oh, I I think these are the ripe ones. If I do this, it should be gold. I it's think. so hot, I should get these vegetables into Shorty right away. Pick those vegetables for me yet? You betcha. Oh no! You pick stuff that wasn't ripe yet again! Oh, well, there's only one thing to do. <laughs> Never mind. I don't understand, dear. Didn't Shorty tell you to only pick things that were ripe? Yes. But he says that you went out yes. and picked vegetables that Thank weren't ripe. Yes, I'm afraid I hate him I did. Too. Oh dear. You can go that eat a garden is bag an of dicks. source of food for us. We simply can't have someone picking things willy-nilly and wasting perfectly good vegetables. Can we, Ed? We could wind up with scurvy. I'm We're just not responsible enough for ranch life yet. So why don't you go back to River Heights? Oh yeah? We'll invite you back. All right? Okay. Okay. I don't think... I mean, do you think these are ready then? Maybe... Pull them? Does it mean everything here? I don't think any of those no. are... Pull the last one over there and see. It's so hot, I should get these vegetables into Shorty right away. Pick those vegetables for me yet? You betcha. Good for you. Oh. That was one we were missing. Now, okay. if you just fill that egg basket for me again, we'll be all set. Well, I'd better get going. Pleasure talking to you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice chicken. Do we have six? Nice chicken. We have six? Eggs. Keep looking the basket. Yeah, then we're good. Nice chicken. <laughs> Angry chicken. Nice chicken. We do not like the cobra chicken. Hee hee hee. What are you doing? Nor you. What the hell you want? Where's Willow? those eggs for me right here good for good you good for you i need you to do one <laughs> more thing it's yes. tex's birthday the raleigh's told me to make him a cake now if i make it he'll throw a fit but if you make it he might actually appreciate it so why don't you dig a cake recipe out of the recipe box and have at it i don't care when you make it just so it's done by the end of the day the icing's already it's made. okay we love you anyway ellie's could i get a canteen of water from you you betcha you're good to go well, I'd better get going. Don't be a stranger. All right, so now we gotta do the cake. Yep. I want to make this cake. Oh. First thing I'll need to make that cake is a mixing bowl. I, I need to play something. Hold on. Ah, uh, but I need to beat the music. Dear Hannah, well, I made it to Shadow Ranch, but I'm afraid all is not well. Hold on. Yeah. It's almost as bad as mid. Making pancakes.
There it is. That's it. Perfect. I pile on the candy. It's such a pretty sight. It makes the food taste dandy, but my tummy hurts. Dear right. Hannah, well, I made it to Shadow Ranch. ingredients, but keep the rest for me. I'm not just disobedient. I'm careful. Can't Still loud. Me. Damn it. It's a piece of cake. <laughs> That's lazy town. Making food is just Three. like science with tools that blend and base. And every fun appliance gives the food a different taste. It's a piece of cake and make a pretty cake. If the way is hazy, you gotta do the cooking by the book. You know you can't be lazy. Never use a messy recipe. The cake will end up crazy. Oh really? I just know the songs. We gotta have it <laughs> You know that I love cake. Finally, it's time to make a cake. We gotta have it made. You know that I love cake. Finally, it's time to make a cake. You gotta do the Four. cooking by the book. Cake. Cake. Ah. Five. Six. One. Oh yeah, the show itself was kind of meh. Dear Hannah, well, I made it to Shadow Ranch, but I'm afraid all is not. One. I do three of these, right? Yep. I probably gonna screw this up because I was busy screwing around. Oh jeez. Okay. That's it. Large pan circle. Lazy that song was from Lazy Town. Lazy Town, yeah. Looks like I'm gonna have to guess how long to cook it and what temperature to use. Absolutely. Maybe perfect. I should try a little, just to be sure. I should put that icing Shorty made on it. What are these? I made you that flour Frances mentioned in her recipe. I cut all the pieces out of marzipan using her old forms, but I'll be darned if I can figure out how the pieces go. Oh. And now you just it's a tulip. really hard to see that. Ellie's, have you ever read the All Souls, or All Souls trilogy? What was her name? Deborah Harkness. It's a tulip. What's this? It's a That's tulip. That's food coloring, so you can paint that marzipan flower. Gotcha. Krollmeister. Wait a second. I know something about Krollmeister.
I'd Color love to build a flower. miles. What's up? Color the flower. <laughs> I never knew you could do this color, like, click it a couple times. I never knew you could do that. I always just did it once. <laughs> Eat it! Just slam your face into it. Oh my god, what? I'm guessing she didn't know either. Miss Nancy, how may I be of service? <laughs> well, I'm going. Yeah, I Drop didn't either. Time. I didn't either. I saw someone do it. I was like, what? Alright, so what do we got now? Did that? I'm finished with that. I think we gotta go to the pump house, don't we? Or is it yes. blocked off? Well, we have to. Go to the pump house and then call the sheriff. Right, okay. And the geo survey, too? I don't know. Hi, are Hernandez. you the sheriff? Yes, ma'am. My name I'm is on Nancy the property! Brewer. I'm staying at Shadow Ranch. Oh, yeah? I spent a good part of last <laughs> night out there. Eric Andre? Let me in! It's Alejandro. I know. I never got a chance to talk to you. Is there something I can do for you? Would it be all right if I looked around in the pump house? Sure. I'm all done in there. Should I have my deputy take that sign down? Mind my asking why you want to look around? <laughs> Wait uh, a minute. Old. Dave told me about you. You're the girl detective. Amateur detective. I don't know. Dave seemed to be real impressed with you. <laughs> in more ways than one, Dave. I might add. Oh, oh hi. Excuse me oh, while ouch. I uh, uh, lick my eyelashes. Eyebrows, whatever. Hi. I cannot. Do you know most of the men who work at Shadow Ranch? I know them all. That doesn't mean I'm best buddies with them, but it's a pretty small world out here. And I've Which either known or known of those boys for oh, years. Too far away. And they're all stand up guys, as far as you know? Fun. I'd vouch for every single one of them. Yes, hi, Thanks for your help. Anytime. This is what he does. Because he wants me to hold him. So he can sleep. Yep. He's gonna sleep in her arms here in a little bit. SWGS, this is Geza. Hi, my name is Nancy Drew. Not too long ago, you provided this person I know with a map that showed the locations of no. mineral deposits in <laughs> central Arizona. No. That's what I'm here Not for. on the bike. But it tastes Is so it good. unusual for an ordinary citizen to request a map like that? Depends on <laughs> the number on it was PUB893A. Publication 893 Alpha. Let me get it on my screen here. Yeah, that's a map somebody'd use if they wanted to go prospecting in their spare time. What's this person's name? Uh, Shorty <laughs> Thurman? Shorty yeah, Thurman. Yep, yeah, there He's he is. There. According to my notes, he just started a job in the Shadow Mountain area and figured he'd go looking for gold on his off hours. Well, you keep notes on all the calls you get? In a bureaucracy like this one, you never know. When something goes south and fingers start pointing, it's always good to have your side of the story all nice and documented. How likely do you think it is that Shorty will find any gold around Shadow Mountain? Oh, he might find a nugget or two, but from the looks of the maps oh, I sent him, any ore out there would be of such low quality that attempting to extract gold from it would be pointless. That's interesting. That's what interesting. is? Apparently, this Shorty person asked me if I knew anything about Dirk Valentine's treasure. Really? Do you remember what he said? As I recall, he'd heard a rumor that some outlaw had buried it's some kind baby. of treasure near Shadow Mountain. He thought it might be in an old mine shaft or something. And what did you tell him? Nothing. I didn't know anything about it. Well, thank you, Geza. No problem. What did you say your name was again? <laughs> Nancy... Drew. Oh, Nancy Drew. <laughs> Asked a lot of questions. Didn't buy any maps. But she really appreciated your taking the time to talk to her. Be sure to put that in your notes too, okay? Got it. <laughs> Goodbye, Mr. Asked Drew. a lot of questions. Bye. Didn't buy any maps. <laughs> Jeez, what are we doing? You're about as useless as tits on a bull, Miss Nancy Drew. No, no, go in. There we go. About oh, the other ones. No. Oh. Here, right? Dave? Yep. Well, where did you come from? Well, shit, you caught me red-handed! 
I'm Hi. sorry, I didn't mean to sneak up on you, but what are you doing? Oh, there. Well, see, Back that ass I up! I mean, I'm looking for Dirk Valentine's treasure. Then you lied before when you said you didn't know who Dirk Valentine was. Yes, ma'am. See, my great yes, aunt Ellie was Francis Humber's cousin. When she died, she left me a bunch of stuff, including an old letter she'd gotten from Francis. In the letter, Francis said that Valentine had hidden a bunch of loot somewhere and wanted Francis to find it by following the clues he left for her. Francis was real smart, see? Loved puzzles, played the piano pretty good, too. Anyway. After Valentine met his end, Francis was too brokenhearted to care about some treasure. She told Aunt Ellie that if she could find it, she could keep it. I also found this picture. That's Francis's father, Sheriff Merrill Humber. There's something written on the back. Stairs to cellar. That's Francis's handwriting. Looks like the other half of the message got torn off. I was hoping that the treasure might be under the stairs in here, but no such luck. I didn't know this place had a cellar. As far as I know, no one does. The entrance is secret. These stairs lead to a secret door behind the bookcase in the den. What do the Raleigh's think about all this? The Raleigh's don't know. I was afraid that if I told them, they'd... See, my brother's dead broke. No job, health's bad. I was thinking if I could just find the treasure... I understand, but now I'm in kind of an awkward position. I know, and I'll tell them, I swear. Soon as they come back, they got enough on their minds right now. What about all the accidents that have been happening around here lately? I don't know anything about that horse or any of the other stuff that's been going on around here, I swear. Now, if you'll pardon me, I need to tend to my chores. No, wait! You don't have to leave! <sighs> Get your pretty ass back over here! Missing. But I'm gonna steal it anyway, because it might yes. be of value. Wonder what somebody's been using that for. Rusting the pipe. Wasn't it under here? No, it's out under. Go back out. Over here? Yes. Maybe the message on the pictures yeah. refers not to the stairs to the den, but to these stairs. <laughs> my, my will to live. Oh, what's on the barrel? I don't think there is any. I don't know if you can see what's on the barrel. Looks like it says bar or something. Yeah, I don't want to go to work tomorrow either. Yeah, I don't want to go to work tomorrow either. Hey, I'm not! I'll go down and turn Oh, the one no. where Dave was. No. No, she wanted to see what was on the barrel. Oh. Sorry. Well, you are spread out all over the place. Hold on. No, that's not in Wingdings. Something in Sons. Fine great Julep? Middle word is great. I think it says fine grape something. The grape julep, I think? I don't know. Are you talking about my tattoo? <laughs> Ow. Hey, turn around. No, oh, not wait, far enough. One more. It's the. Yeah, right there. No, go back. Forward. Oh, we have got it. What are we? Oh, this needs to leave, right? It needs to get to the other side. Up here soon. Gotcha. Oh, 
Oh. Get it off of the... There's something inside. I am glad that you are getting your picture painted wearing your favorite shawl. It will be a beautiful painting because you look beautiful in that shawl. I forget the name of the stitch you used to make it, okay. but I think it is amazing that you learned how that to make the whole weird. shawl just by reading one book. I wish I could put my mind to things like you can. I am also glad that you like the handbag that I got you. I knew it would become your favorite on account of the pretty picture the beads made. I want to know all the things that you like so that I can make sure you always have them. I figure that way you will always want me around. Meet me on Friday at noon by the Big Picture Rock. I love you, Dirk. Gotcha. Remember when we were in Cappy's eating the crackers he ordered special from California? And you said that from then on the crackers would be your favorite because they would always remind you of me? Well, I met a trader yesterday who had a whole wagon full of them and I bought you four tins. I also bought a rock from him because this rock has been polished to show a picture that looks just like the landscape by one of our meeting places. He called it an agate and said that the picture was made by nature, but it looks so real I can hardly believe it. I am thinking of a way to surprise you with it because it is as one. special as you are. I will meet you Tuesday at 3 by the Three Arm Cactus. Your father has people watching for me all over the county. I guess you got some of your smartness from him. I love you, Dirk. Well, you know, in all honesty, I mean, if I get bored, I can always play this until you get home. I can stumble through it. I still don't know how you got a whole cake out to our last meeting place like you did, but it was the best thing I ever ate. And the prettiest, too, what with that fancy flower you put on it. Now I think it is the best cake recipe in the world, too. But nothing is as good as getting a letter from you. Whenever I see a flower like the one on your favorite letter paper, I think of you. I only steal Just from people baby. who have plenty of money to begin with and deserve to be robbed. But if I could start over, I would forget about them and be a rancher or a farmer or miner or shopkeeper or whatever you wanted me to be. Just so we could always be together. Be at Charlie's grave at sunset this Thursday. I love you, Dirk. Pay, pay, pay ass. I'm still dead. Okay. Now we can just go up. Looks like I'm back in the den. Eve ho, neighborino. We'll talk to Dave. Oh, sorry. Hello, Nancy. Guess I'm gonna be blushing every time I see you now. <laughs> because of that cellar thing? You don't have to be embarrassed, as long as you level with the Raleigh's like you said you would. Actually, I'm kind of glad you came by. Something I need you to do for me, if you wouldn't mind. You bet. This chicken coop's been a thorn in my side ever since I got here. The wire I need to fix the hole in the fence was supposed to be delivered today. But it's not here yet, and the Raleigh's just called and asked me to run an errand for them tonight. So if you could keep an eye out for that chicken wire, and patch that hole as soon as it gets here, the chickens and I'd really appreciate it. Will the wire get here before it gets dark? Doesn't look that way. But you still have to put it up, even if it means working at night. Just be sure to wear gloves. I'll leave my pliers out. If you have to do it at night, that's okay. There should be plenty of moonlight. You'll be able to see fine. Just make sure it gets done. Because if it doesn't, the coyotes are going to have themselves one heck of a banquet. And you're going to be in a lot of hot water. No problem. Now, is there something I can do for you? May I see that letter you said Francis Humber wrote to your great aunt? Sure, got it right here. When I heard you were a detective, I started keeping it on me. Thought you might snoop through <laughs> my stuff or something. Thanks for letting me see it. Dearest cousin <laughs> Elliot, I had to. my beloved Dirk is no more. I shall never see him again. And now you will never see chicken me again. Mostly to keep chickens for I am on in, my right? way east, there to spend the rest of my life. I will never return to the territory of Arizona. Not even when my father, <laughs> whom I despise with every part of my being, has left this earth. But know this, sweet Ellie. Dirk told me that he had hidden something of great value, and that when all was in place, he would start me in pursuit of it. He was forever inventing fanciful ways to well, tax my brain. I, I will be honest, it works pretty well with dogs that don't realize they can get past it. And was quite clever himself. Then, thanks to my father, he was arrested. Perhaps he wrote me from jail and his note was lost. Or perhaps he grew to hate me. But he never told me how to find what he had hidden, and I am too heartsick to care. If you can somehow find it, it's yours, my dear young cousin. 
Know, too, that I miss you terribly and always, always will. Francis. P.S. Enclosed is a picture of the vilest man ever born, and was quite clever himself. Where was the jail that Dirk Valentine stayed in after he was arrested? Do you have any idea? Probably the one over in Luckily, Dry Creek. Jake it's a ghost town now. But the jailhouse and a couple other old buildings are still standing. At least they were last I saw. Is it far from here? On your way to Miriazzi's, look for the trail on your left that heads towards Shadow Mountain and stay on it till you get there. It's about an hour and a half's ride. This got something to do with the treasure? It might. Well, let me know if you need anything else. I'll let you get back to work. Ma'am? Ma'am. Oh, I get to go over and stroke checks. Oh, my boy. Need something? Has anyone tried going after that phantom horse when it appears? Nope. Always something else going on. Like Ed Raleigh getting snake bit, or the pump house blowing up. Plus, that horse is fast. Probably couldn't catch it anyway. Is it okay if I go riding? Nope. Feed the chickens and the horses in the corral first. Could be fatal if you mess up. So don't. Poor <laughs> old Bob. Talk to you later. Just stay out of trouble. I have it written down there. He is just all curled up. Oh, it's right. Oh. Oh, wait. So we have Bob, Clyde, Ace, right? Okay. Let me do any more of just one. Come on, fill it. Come on, we need a full. Bob's hungry today. I guess it has to be full. Want it? Back out. Back away. There we go. Cool. Yeah, I think it's way over. Hi, Bob. I heard you're a hungry, hungry horse. Don't like killing Bob. careless people on the ranch and since Tex would be quite happy to strangle you right now <laughs> what we're going to say next is actually for your own good goodbye, goodbye Nancy. Nancy no we are not filling that Bob will live to see another day hmm Okay. The two oats. One corn. That's not corn. No. This one? This corn. 
One corn. Oh, I know. Then pellets. There's one more. No, one corn, and then one and a half pellets. Oh, I'm just saying. Oh, I thought there was. Never mind. I meant. So do I do three of them? Oh, crap. I possibly should have paid attention. Just dump everything back. That's one. Okay. Two. Got it. One corn. That should be a three now. It's not. Okay, so now it's a three, then we do one and a half pellets. That's one and a half. Okay. Nope, we didn't. I did good. Alright, Clyde. Three oats. One. A who? Three. He gets just the pellets. One of the pellets. Okay, we're good. I love the fact that he has a picture of himself yelling at people. That's Bob. Oh! Thank you! Hi, Clyde. Hi there. You two aren't too shabby looking either. Shabby looking? I'll show you shabby looking. I'll kick you in the head. That's Clyde. That way. Nice. One oat. Half a thing of corn. And three things of pellets. So that's one and two. Back up. Keep. Must be the chicken feet in the very last one. That's right, he's actually doing work tomorrow. Okay, yeah, I don't care. Ten. What's the thing with horses that is? Fit? I don't know. Well, Kyle King, I think, is pretty, yeah, it's not always, but it's... There's a, it, does it start with an F? Chickens, come I mean, any, it. any issue like with their uh, their legs is usually not good. Uh, <laughs> true. All right, so that's done. Check. Something. May I go riding now? Oh, Bob's all yours. I set up some barrels and a sawhorse so you can do some okay. barrel racing oh, yeah. and practice roping. Whenever you're out there, I'll watch you and time you. If you get good enough, like say you get your time below 10 seconds, 
And if you can lasso the sawhorse like, say, four times out of five, I'll give you your very own lariat. You can practice as much as you want whenever you want. Just don't go walking off with my rope, because I'll be I'll watching. Watch Talk to you later. No hurry. Tex knows the rules, and rules are Tex. <laughs> you're ridiculous. No, Bob, you're just warm. All right, Bob. That's a barrel racing. Come on, Bob. I'm gonna see if I can remember how to do this. Yeehaw! That's not right. Yeah, yeah. Eleven point five. Start over. So do you just when you come close to him? Is that what you have? I have to adjust my... You're good. Rat child. You're... Really? I... I got him. He wants down anyway. Uh -oh. right. Okay, Bob, let's go! Nine point five. How about that? You did it. Da -da -da. Da -da -da. So this get the way till it's perfectly. Oh. Ah, I screwed up. Rats. That I was this close. It's only like a second or so. Perfect. Gotcha. Yes. Four out of five. Congratulations. Well, that's mine now, right? No, we gotta go back and talk to Jackson. Alright! Now I can get my own lariat. Yeah, I, I'm a good horse owner. I take my saddle off one leg at a time. Need something? I did the barrel race in under 10 seconds and roped the sawhorse four out of five times. Do I get a lariat? Yep, here you go. Yep. I'm kind of surprised at you. Why? Figured you'd be good for some laughs out there. You weren't. I'm sorry, it's Tex. This little I like Tex. This ain't over with yet. Talk to you later. Yahoo. Yahoo. Who we save and stop? Or... Probably. Or should I just go and get the rest of those things? Yeah, if you want to do the cliffs. What? <sighs> what? Come on, Bob. Come on, Bob. Let's go <laughs> wrestle some stuff. What? Big Chrissy. Yeah. Oh. Nope, that didn't work. Let me look at it. I've got this thing pulled up here. Give me a sec. Uh, yep, refresh. Okay. Oh, wait, I need commands. That's it. Dang it.
it's not a, it'd be a, go back. Is it external? What? what? Wouldn't it be under? No worries, yeah, we probably won't be going much longer anyway. <laughs> Hopefully we'll see you tomorrow for ice. Have a good night, Nikki. Well, how do you make people... Oh, no, I think I can do it. I think I can do it through here. Oh, you made her a mod. Whoop. I mean, that works. Uh. Give me a minute. I'm fixing things. Are you going to bed too, Chrissy? There we go. That's what I was trying to do. <laughs> all right, Chrissy. You have to go all the way to Cougar Bend. That looks like Mary Yazi. Oh, wait. Where'd Cougar been? Ah! What the hell? There's a goddamn Cougar in the car. Oh, there's a Cougar in the car. I put it in there. You gotta learn to drive with the fear. There ain't nothing more goddamn frightening than driving with a live Cougar in the car. I've never watched. All right. Ugh. Oh, no, not quite. There we go. Oh. What? Bitch! That's it. Ta da! Da da da! Da da da! I can't get my map out now. I'll okay. just remember the petroglyphs I see and check my map later. So it's by the rock, that, that. Okay. What was the other one? Oh, shit. At the top, we have peoples. Peoples. Sun. Axes. Here. I'm guessing this is here. Oh yeah, there it is. 
Beneath Cappy's keys, Cappy's name, please. I call Charlena. Oh, right, there's no signal here. Yeah, but you should be able to... Oh, would it go to the web? Oh, that's right. Yeah, we can cheat. That's right. You learned that the hard way. Charlene of Purcell's office. Hi, this is Nancy Drew. May I please speak to Miss Purcell? She told me to put you right through. She even told me to make sure you didn't have to listen to that recording again. You really raved. Really raved. Hello, Nancy. So, what have you discovered? I came across a reference to someone whom Dirk referred to as Pappy. Probably his father, Kashmir Valentine. He was a blacksmith over in Prescott. Would Francis have known who he was? Oh, yes. Dirk worshipped his father. Which is ironic, because by the time Dirk was arrested, his father had pretty much disowned him out of shame. I came across something that looks like a very old token and has the words Dry Creek Merchants on it. Sounds like you have a piece of Dry Creek script. It was sometimes used in mining towns like Dry Creek in place of currency. Does it have a denomination on it? It says one and a half cents. Probably used for games. You mean, like gambling? I'm sure it was sometimes used for gambling, but I'm talking about mechanical games. Believe it or not, they had some very primitive arcade-type games back in the 1880s. Some were quite entertaining, especially for a cent and a half. Talk to you soon. You do that. You do that. Town? No. Ellie. Stop. Yeah. You know I don't want to. Chicken, yep. Save, yes. Game has been saved. Alrighty. And with that, we will call it a night. We do it. Already did. Oh yeah. It just did. exit. No. All right. I love that cooking by the book song. I used to have the DDR song set up to it. Yeah. Sorry, we were cooking by the book. So cooking by the book. Anyways, you all have a good night. And we will catch you on the flip side. We will catch you all tomorrow. We will be playing ice. Yes. I'd annoy people by playing this one a little bit earlier. That way I give her something to watch while she's vlogging through work. I can watch it at work. Oh. Anyways, you all have a good night. Bye. Bye. Ha ha! Look, it's ending soon. Surprise! End!